My name is Sterling Buse, and I am the uh, KSU Horse Unit uh, Manager. And where did you go to school? I received my bachelor's and master's from Clemson University and finished my PhD in equine reproductive physiology here at Kansas State University. And what is your job here at the unit? Uh, my job is uh, pretty broad reaching. Um, we maintain a herd of about 60 head of uh, quarter horses that uh, we're responsible for um, breeding, maintaining through the classes and then train them as they go through the classes. Um, we also, during the breeding season, uh, board outside mares for the vet school to breed and also stand several outside stallions. Um, so the majority of my job can kind of be broken down into kind of a breeding manager during the spring and then um, horse training and horse sale management um, the other part of the year. Uh, we're going to start off first today by talking about the different types of equipment we're going to need to collect our stallion. Uh, here at the KSU horse unit, um, we do almost 100% of our breeding through artificial insemination. So that means we have to artificially collect the stallion ourselves using a phantom and an AV, which we'll kind of talk about what those things are and how we use those, um, and then prepare um, breeding doses to inseminate mares um, artificially here on farm as well and also prepare them to ship. Um, there are a couple of different reasons why we use artificial insemination. Um, probably the biggest uh, being safety. Um, it's safer for both um, the stallions, the mares, and uh, most importantly the people involved um, when we do each individual piece ourselves and also um, we generally have more than one mare per day to breed to these stallions. So therefore, when we collect it, we can um, put together a breeding dose that's going to allow for appropriate conception rates, but also allows us to breed multiple mares with a single ejaculate um, when we collect that horse here on the farm ourselves. Um, probably the uh, maybe most important part is how we're going to do the collecting from the stallion. Um, we use what you call an artificial vagina, which we refer to as an AV, um, and there are two um, very common types of AVs that you're going to find. Um, those two types are a Colorado AV, which we have here, and a Missouri AV, which we have here. Um, there are other kind of more obscure things that some people really like to use, but I would say far and wide the two most common ones you're going to see are the Colorado and the Missouri AVs. So we'll kind of go through a little bit um, of why you would want to use these, how you use them. So we, well, we already kind of talked about why, but the how is we will put these together using pretty much the same, so a liner, some water for added pressure, temperature, that sort of thing. And then um, we, the stallion mounts the phantom and we use the AV um, on the stallion's penis to collect that ejaculate into our collection vessels that we will have on these artificial vaginas. So the Colorado AV here is a little bit bigger one. We'll kind of go through the, each individual pieces. Um, the part here is the kind of outer casing. It's hard plastic uh, with a latex bladder on the inside. And then a cap here, and then this opens into the lumen of the um, AV. So how that works is, if I can get the top back on, we also have a latex liner that goes into the bladder as well. So we put this through here and attach it with the multiple um, rubber bands we have here and then use our sink and water filler to add water um, to this to whatever pressure and water temperature the stallion prefers. Some of them are very picky, some of them are not picky at all. Um, but we'll kind of go through temperature and pressure specs when we put together an AV to use here today. So that's kind of very briefly how the Colorado AV works. So we talked a little bit about the parts and pieces of a Colorado AV. So we can go through the parts and pieces of a Missouri AV. Um, again, this is what we typically use out here, um, and I think they're the most user-friendly. So here's the main part of a Missouri AV is the latex bladder. You can kind of see down the inside, there's two individual latex layers. Um, the water that you put in here and, and or air uh, will go between these two pieces of latex to, um, uh, and you can alter how much water and air you put in them to alter the, the pressure that the stallion um, experiences. 
So it also has a valve here where you attach it to put water inside. Keeping up with those is always fun. Also, uh, the only other piece attached here um, is the plastic uh, piece where you screw the bottle on where you'll collect the semen into. Um, a lot of people will zip tie uh, this piece here on the bottom. However, through the years, we kind of found that it kind of wears the latex out a little bit quicker um, if you zip tie it. Um, so two things, if you don't zip tie it, make sure it's stuck in there pretty good uh, and or uh, utilize some um, athletic tape or something like that that goes around the bottom and connects it so it doesn't inadvertently come loose while you're collecting the stallion. So that's the main piece. Again, uh, a little bit cheaper to purchase one of these right off the bat than a Colorado AV. However, um, if the latex tears or something like that, um, you do have to replace the whole piece. So replacement costs are a little bit higher. Um, they do make patches uh, for this little seal here um, if that were to come loose. Um, and then they were make replacement uh, plastic pieces um, if you would have to replace one of those pieces. Once you have the AV kind of put together and ready to go, you'll utilize one of these sleeves. Uh, we have two different kinds here. Uh, this one is leather. You can see the hole. Uh, for the valve here, um, and they also have a neoprene cover as well. Uh, the leather has buckle straps that you can adjust depending on the fullness of your AV, um, and the neoprene one has uh, Velcro uh, tabs. The benefit, maybe, of using the neoprene is that it will keep the water temperature a little bit more consistent for a longer period of time, so particularly if we're uh, collecting a horse outside and it's pretty cold um, and we're using the Missouri, we're more than likely going to use the neoprene. Also, uh, some of our stallions have um, a preference toward the looser AV that you manually add pressure. Um, and I feel like this one kind of sticks on the AV a little better and you're not kind of chasing the AV around in your sleeve quite as bad. Um, however, uh, the leather obviously going to be a little bit more durable over the, the long period. Um, so most people, I would say, probably use the leather, um, and we generally use the leather until we had the ones that liked it a little bit loose, and then we're having a little bit of trouble um, keeping the AV in the right place, so we started using the neoprene one, so we use that one pretty consistently now um, around here on the farm. Um, they do make liners that go in these as well, um, just uh, plastic material like your OB sleeves that kind of go through the middle of this. Again, some stallions don't mind. Um, some stallions mined a lot. Uh, we had a couple that we were trying to use for a research project and could not get them collected uh, with a liner. They just didn't like it that much. Um, so for the most part, all of our stallions each have their own individual AV that we collect them with, um, and they're all cleaned and sanitized after each use, um, so we don't worry quite so much about uh, using that specific liner. Um, the only other part and piece we have is the collection vessel. So. Um, we use bottles that attach here that actually collect um, the semen into. So here is one of our bottles. We also use a filter which will filter out the gel fraction of the ejaculate um, and that goes into the baby bottle liner that we collect into. So we take both of these and these go inside of the baby bottle and we tape it on there and then this attaches to the AV here. Um, to collect the, the semen into. And something we um, don't know that it actually fits here, um, but um, one of the benefits, I guess, or things you need to keep in mind when you're collecting a stallion, uh, particularly with the Missouris because they come in different sizes. This is a standard 18 inch. Um, they make a smaller, I think it's 13 inches, and then one that's 20 something inches. Um, so a lot of that's going to depend on the size and length of your horse's penis because you do not want them to ejaculate here um, in the heated portion where the water is. Um, when uh, an AV is appropriately fitted and used correctly, the stallion's penis should bell down here at the bottom and then they ejaculate into this part that's not heated um, into the uh, bottle. That way it's not getting heat shocked if they ejaculate further up into um, the AV here. So you always want them to reach all the way down to the bottom of the AV and they make different sizes to make sure you can accomplish that.